Clarks, but like there. And I am George Clark. Welcome to the useless hotline. TikTok was in it. So we decided to set up our own little business. We did. And the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Unfortunately, oh, this week it is. George, don't. I'm literally going to write. Guys, we're, 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 <laughs> cut, we're cutting the rest of the intro out. First of all, I'm extremely unwell. I've had about three hours sleep. And He's even more pale than normal. I person. really am. I'm not good. And we were supposed to have the most iconic guest in the world today that I've been waiting on for the last six mm. months because they've already cancelled once. Then they came back and they were like, oh, yeah, we'll do it. They'll do it. They've cancelled an hour before they were Aye. supposed to show up. Correct. And to say that I'm upset is an understatement. Um, I was ready to pretend that I wasn't unwell. I was ready to pump my body full of like any medication that I needed Oof. to and um, power through. But instead, it's just me and George Clarky over here. So yeah. um, I don't think you've ever called me that in person. George Clark. Yeah, you always say that. You I never, do, you yeah. never say. Do people call you George Clarky? People. Uh, what do you prefer? Clarky? I don't. I don't really care. Branding. You should. You should have made a firm decision. Um, because Clarky would have been better because of the other guy that's called George Clark. The oh yeah, we do often mix in the same circles. <laughs> me and the architect. Mm. Uh, we do have some amazing spaces. Uh, uh, mine. Mm, oh. I'm not going to no, say that. Oh no. No, um, no. Thank you. <clears throat> no, many people asked this just the other day. <clears throat> Mr. Minter um, said, "Do you prefer George or Clarky?" And I said. Mm. Fuck off! Get out of my room. Why are you uh, here? Yeah, fair <laughs> I didn't say that, no. uh, but now I uh, yeah I, I I don't really care. Clarky, uh, so I feel like you have a bit of hair sticking up that I thought I needed to alert. No, it's like just one strand. I don't know how that's happened. What yeah, how's that? Happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you instead oh. of just letting you leave it like that. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm a nice person. Audio <laughs> listeners, imagine George with one bit of hair stuck up. I, I imagine that's what they were doing before. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I had literally the most detailed and planned out episode ready because this guest was my dream. Oh, look at me, Max. I'm really upset. Get over it, all right? <laughs> Let's just have a good time. Look, you're here with your best pal, Woo! Simba, and, <laughs> and me. We do have good fun. So yeah, we're already having a great time. Yeah, for the audio listeners as well. Um, the Bloody teddy hell. that George wore. Oh, the teddy that George brought Jesus. last week. For his Halloween costume of me, I'm now holding um, to provide comfort, emotional support. Have you ever been on a plane and someone's had an emotional support animal? Um, I've been on, uh, and Andrew had this weird sort of blob next right. to him. Right, that's, that's me, um, everyone. That's what he's saying, and that's really horrible. It looked like, have you ever seen the Pokemon Ditto? <laughs> Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, that, that is me. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Um... Wow, that's nice. <clears throat> um, I have, and it was a cat, but I didn't like it, and I thought... Have seen the video of that woman that brought a cat on the plane? Uh, like, elite, it was a, like it was a fake, snuck it, it, was, it It was a fake stuffed one. Oh, no, I've not have seen, you seen that. Have seen that? No. It's quite a funny video. I've seen someone who brought a real cat like, and tried to sneak it in their luggage yeah. and got really pissed off when they like found out. Got all the way through to, to the other country, landed in the UK, and then they were like have you got a cat and she was like no and then they opened her yeah. bag and there was just a live cat in there damn yeah crazy you don't have any pets do you um no i want a dog your family give me dog but vibes i don't know how that's a bit rude no like as it <laughs> what are you saying about my mother max <laughs> no as in like you just seem like the sort of family that would have had a, a my a dad had one dog. when he was younger but did they never want you to have one uh no they just said because my dad was at work and my mum was at work and then me and my sister at school, they were oh, like, it's not fair on the dog just to be at home all day. Did like your grandparents live near you? Because no. I did yeah, you moved away from them, didn't you? Mm, yeah. They so live in like Hampshire. Yeah, I remember you saying. Yeah, yeah, see like for us, like my, if my mum would like, if they were busy, then my grandparents could help out. Yeah. That's such a shame. A dog brings so much joy to a family. Yeah. Sorry, I need to blow my nose. Audio listeners, imagine me blowing my nose. <laughs> Don't do it, all dear listeners. It's not worth I it. I hope that that was quite an ASMR experience for you. Right, have, you have you got anything you want to say? Are we going to play some um, games? Wait, 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 wait. Before we play some games, I just thought that I would give everybody an update on my living situation. Oh, who gives it? He's still at a house. It's not finished yet. Right, next. No, yeah, we've had um, that one, Max. It, it's supposed to be finished this week. 
Nice. So I will hopefully be able to move back in. Oh, and also the fundraiser, we have a confirmed lineup that is going out real time today. Real time. But it'll already be out by the time that this is out, so I can just say it. You won't know who any of these people are. Okay. Headliner is Bimini Bamboulash. No. Which is an actual name. That which sounds I think... like my delivery order. <laughs> I'll, have a, I'll have a Bimini Bamboulash <laughs> with a side How... of pilau rice. <laughs> How iconic is that of a name, Bimini Bamboulash? Yeah, no, it's really that good with a bit of naan as well. Um, next headline, Black Pepper, again. Whoa! See, Bimini Bamboulash, pop a bit of black pepper in See? there. See, going right, right. Really nice, <laughs> it's, good, it's, good, it's nice and tasty. Um, next, Rob Madge, Less, that's Ooh, not as Rob, much. <laughs> Rob Madge. That's not as much foodie, is it, really? Rob Madge, what could that be? Um, Rob Mash and Peas, maybe? Rob Madge. Mm, not sure. No, I don't really know what I'm thinking no. of when I hear Rob Madge. No. Tyrese in Heels. That's that. sort of self-explanatory. Yes, isn't it, it is. Does it, yeah, does it, a person called Tyrese that yeah. wears very high heels. Is, if they're not in Heels, are they just like Tyrese in Plimsolls? Yeah, like, just Tyrese in Crocs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> who else? I actually can't... My, guys, I've had three hours sleep. My brain is not working. But it's amazing. So if there are still tickets available by the time that this is out get them and grow up there's also going to be lots of like influencer people there that you will recognize oh, yeah baby um what date is it, Matt? the date is the 8th of november and it's at the clapham grand in london and if you can't go in person there will be a live stream available that you can pay Hell for yeah. all the proceeds <clears throat> for that will also be going to charity baby and i'll tell you from <clears throat> using a urinal next to max that man has a good stream <laughs> so I do. You take a peek, my guys. Indeed. Um, now that's out of the way, should we play some games? Yeah, let's bloody play some games. Uh, so this is going to completely... This is just fraud at this point. Uh, it's from a... Um, I saw it on my TikTok for you page. Um, whilst I was scrolling some hilarious George Clarkey videos, uh, a random one of an Australian podcast popped up. I'm not really sure which one it is. Aussies, Aussies for full, you. Full credit to them. Hmm? Aussies for you. That's the podcast. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know that? I've seen it. I don't know if that's. I just made true. it up, but you believed yeah. me, didn't you? No, Aussies I literally, for you. I was literally mid questioning you when no, you, you just said you, believe you me. believed me. You believe me so much, then. Oh um, my god, that's crazy. <clears throat> but the other, the the second game I know is uh, by um, uh, a guy called Will Gibb. He's got a podcast. So shout out here. Don't I know Will Gibb? Uh, Australian. Think, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you bumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, I met Will Gibb. Yeah, you did. So this is sayings that aren't sayings, but sound like they should be sayings. Oh, I like this. Okay. Okay. So we've uh, we've both written some down, haven't we? Yeah. You want to go back and forth? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I often ask him this. You go and he, first. And he is always this enthusiastic. I am. Um, my first one: Don't water the bush before you've planted it. Oh, okay. Like, don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay. I feel like I feel like that works. Yeah, I'm quickly realizing that we've gone for very different. What's your What's yours? So my first one is I'm absolutely gosnoggled. Gosnoggled. I thought we had to like make things up. No, I mean you. You do you, my guy. Okay, so that means like I'm really drunk. Or yeah. I'm gosnoggled. Yeah. Like if I was. It does sound goggles, a little bit like a slur, but. Oh yeah, a little bit. But if I was like wearing goggles, then they'd be not like nozzled and goggly or crazy. So goggles. Yeah, nozzles. of course. No, yeah, I, th I feel like yeah. less applicable in day to day life. Yeah, true. Um, Depends what you do in your day to day life, really. My next one. Don't rewear your piss stained pants. Oh. You're gonna sort that mess out before you put them on to go tackle the next day. Right. Okay. So. Say, um, I, what's a good example of this? Don't rewear your piss stained pants. So just attacking something without having to sort the situation out. So like, does it not just mean like, don't make the same mistake? No, as in like, yeah, say does. there was a mess in this room, right? And then like, say before we started filming this podcast, there'd just be a, there'd be a mess all over the table. And then we'd be just like, ah, we'll just carry on. But Instead of instead of that, we've cleaned it and we've started again fresh. I think saying we don't want to. I think it meaning don't make the same mistake twice makes way more sense than they, the, there being a mess on the table. No, no, is it, well, that's not. It's not the only circumstance. Don't rewear your piss stained pants. You need to clean your pants before you rewear them. So you need to. Yes, yeah, so you don't make the same mistake twice. Well, no, that's that's don't piss your pants again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do that either. 
what's happening? You're, not, a, you're a silly boy. Right, you're I next. Just, um, this is one that I just thought of just then, but I've heard someone say it before, but it's actually quite good. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Nice. It means like, don't don't tell me it's raining, but you're really just pissing on my leg. Yeah, don't lie to me when don't it's so blatant me. and obvious. Yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You cheeky little dev. Um, this one. Robin Hood didn't wear a balaclava. Okay, I'm. I'm so let, let, was, me, let me let me think what that could okay. possibly mean. Robin Hood didn't wear a balaclava. That means if you're gonna do it, do it with your chest. Sort of, yeah. So it's like Robin Hood didn't wear a balaclava. So he was still doing some shady stuff, mm. but he wasn't doing it under a disguise. He was he was Proud. being himself, and he was. He was doing it for the good reasons. Mm. Pop a balaclava on. Robin Hood is now just a burglar. Ah, I never thought about it like that. Robin Hood didn't wear a balaclava. Also, was Robin Hood a fox? Uh, he wasn't a Disney adaptation, yes, right. but I don't think the man was, no. Right, okay. Um, next one. Don't piss in my kettle. I mean, are these ones that you just keep thinking of? Are they, uh, <laughs> no, I've written okay. it down. Don't piss in my kettle. Don't piss in my kettle. Yeah, just... That's like so, literally don't just do like something. don't take the piss. Yeah, just like don't, don't just like just don't don't piss in my kettle. Like don't do something that's a little bit like it's not that big of an inconvenience, but it's going to have a huge impact on my everyday yeah, life. Would, don't piss yeah. on my kettle. Mm. Like I need to use that kettle. Yeah. Don't piss in my. You're kettle. gaining nothing from this other than inconvenience. Yeah, you. you're yeah. just pissing in my kettle. Don't okay. do it, please. I've got you. Wouldn't put a donkey in Heelys. Oh. Oh, I need to find my Heelys. I've got an adult pair of Heelys. But carry on, explain Yeah, to me so what you it wouldn't means. put a donkey in Heelys. So you wouldn't. It, it's 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 a state that it wouldn't be able to survive. Like it's just it's a silly thing so to do. Like, Don't even attempt it. Would I, would I it's not going to work a, out well. Would I put my mom in a boxing ring? Don't put a donkey in Heelys. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just not going to so work out well. You know, you know the outcome. Yeah, the donkey's going to topple over. Absolutely, it's not going to conquer the Heelys. It's not. Heelys are quite the task. Imagine, imagine if you've got four on and you've got hooves in them. Oh, God. I used to love when I would be in my Heelys and I'd see a good, smooth surface. Yeah. A mall. Airport. Oh, I said a mole. A mall. I used to love being in my Heelys and I saw a mole. Not a mall. Like a, a, smooth a, surface a shopping mall. The baby's mold. bottom, a nice mole on it. A shopping mall. Yeah. Not a mole. I'm northern. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've noticed. Um... Next one, don't rat me off. Ooh, what the hell does that mean? Don't, don't rat me off. Rat you off. Yeah, like don't don't be snide. Don't be like don't rat me off. Like don't be a little rat and you're ratting me off. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can see that. I, I like, feel don't like that's rat something me you off. would just say. Anyway. So thing, this thing is with this is you just make up your own sayings as you go along anyway. Yeah, true. Just don't rat me off though. Don't rat me off. I like that. Like why are you ratting me off? being a little rat you're just, yeah but you're being... ratting me off like you're proper you're being a rat and it's ratting me off oh so it's 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 not the process of someone being a rat no it's, it's the, the what they're doing it's is the, ratting you off the in a resulting way. the resulting feeling that you get from being ratted off you yeah. rat, don't rat me off yeah don't rat me off i'm feeling bloody ratted right now yes yeah. yes like someone's a bit conniving and, okay. and ratty nice don't rat me off um, go on uh, this one is you're running in a crackhead slipstream. You're running in a crackhead slipstream. Yeah. Is a slipstream that thing in like when you play a racing game and the lines appear yeah. at the side and then you have to go behind mm. it like Mario Kart. Mm. So I'd be in a crackhead. Sl so like don't follow a bad example. Basically, is yeah. that what that means? It, it like it as in they're carving the way for you. But you're, and it might seem like an easy path, and they're they're in front of you. They're they're doing worse yeah. in your eyes, but you're you're they're just carving the way for you. You're following in their footsteps. It feels like an easy ride, and, and it seems like they're worse off. They're in pole position right now, right. but you're still following behind them. Yeah, don't yeah. run in a crackhead slipstream. Mm, okay, um, next one for me. Should we go for a swing about? Just go for a swing about. Oh, I thought that was just an offer off camera. <laughs> just like, should we just go for a swing about? Like, let's what go for that a mean? little like, swing. Just like, way, just go for a swing about. Like, 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 oh, let's just do something casually together. Like, oh, I thought you go for a swing about. Could have been playing golf. Could have been helicoptering in the changing no. rooms. I mean, I don't know what <laughs> no. go for a swing about. Oh, just go for a swing about. Like, oh, what should we do today? Like, should we just go for a swing about town? 
we just go off that is now there? actually a saying swing about town is it i think so it does it just sound so good that it, you thought that it was a saying that, see it sounds like a thing that is a thing yeah already. but no i'm just really talented okay my next one this one's actually quite deep and i feel like you'll respect it and this is one that i've said beforehand i think will go down uh for generations upon generations Ooh, okay i'm ready there's nothing a map <clears throat> wow <laughs> okay uh, yep oh my god guys did you get note of that that's crazy make sure you tell your kids about that one guys there's <laughs> nothing in my uh there's nothing magic about the carpet until you see it fly right so that means so until you see what makes the carpet magic which is when it gets up and flies just it's an just a carpet. carpet so you for example when you hadn't found your your role in presenting and your mm. you may have been sat there like damn i'm just a carpet just but a, now we've seen you fly now I'm then you know that you're a magic carpet oh, i'm a magic carpet that's where the magic is yes so people that are in the, in the dumps like damn there's nothing special about me you just well, seen your carpet you don't now. you just haven't seen your you're in you your haven't carpet been put down era. the avenue yet yeah you're in your carpet era yeah Re get ready for your magic carpet era yeah you're gonna fly baby there's nothing magic about the carpet until um, you see it fly that's really good i like that a lot uh, last one from me quite a bad one to be fair don't know what it means don't know when i wrote it i don't remember i'm on a lot of medication right now um tickle my bones Tickle your bones. Yeah, I don't know what that means. As in I think like, it just means make me laugh. Is it re like a really funny laugh? Like that tickled yeah, me so that deep it my hit bones. my bones. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah, or was it that? That I feel like that could even. I feel like it doesn't sexual. It's, it, no, but it's tickle got my bones. Mm, I don't know. I, I was going to say yeah, it's got. A, to me, it doesn't seem like a funny thing. It's got like a more sinister undertone of like, mm. you've tickled me to my bones. Like that's actually really quite scary. Yeah, you've tickled me to my bones. Yeah, oh, like you make my bones itch. Oh. I hate it when people say. I remember I when I used to watch Coronation Street with my mom this couple were having an affair mm. and then when it got released he was like i see her and i just want to jump on her bones and i thought that's a weird thing to say isn't yeah, it yeah not a fan of that like you want to jump on her bones yeah. that's not that doesn't seem healthy that bit of a danger yeah i think that's the intent yeah um this next one i feel like again quite a good one actually okay. um don't shoot the masseuse for waxing your sack <laughs> Wait, surely it should be the wax. Wait, wait, have you ever been? Wait, when was the last time you went for a massage and hey, they waxed your hey, balls? I don't know. Actually? I don't know the name for the wax. The waxologist. I feel like you. All right, don't shoot. Like... Don't shoot the waxologist for waxing your sack. I feel like you've been assaulted. Um, because that doesn't. Normally don't shoot happen. the whoever the person is that waxes your sack for waxing your sack. But that doesn't sound very. That doesn't roll off the tongue quite. Don't like... shoot the mechanic for waxing your sack. All I mean, right. a, there, I mean, if that seems a bit too far away from what they're paid to do are you joking right so just because someone's a you I, I could just go for a massage and be like come on you're already i'm paying you to be down there just wha just I wax feel like my sack those places do do the same things basically normally have you ever been to either of those places no, the answer is no so <laughs> but can we please explain the what well, does that sound like something right a saying don't to you? blame the masseuse for don't waxing. shoot the masseuse for Let, waxing your i mean sack. let's let's imagine that we live in a world where a masseuse is waxing sacks then i imagine what you mean is don't attack the person for doing what they're supposed to do not just that but oh. you get an initial sting and you're you're gonna ah but in the long run it's it's made you what you want to be right okay so, so it could... like it hurts initially but it's what was meant to happen Right. Don't shoot the masseuse for waxing your sack. Right. I feel like there's such a better way to say that, but I get exactly what you mean. Yeah. It's kind of like pulling the band-aid off. Yeah. Right. But you're just uh, a, a, a masseuse is waxing your ball sack for some reason. Like uh, another it. one. Even the king wears a hole in his briefs. Even the king wears a hole in his. What do you mean wears a hole? So wear away a hole into your briefs. So when you get a hole in your boxes, uh, that it puts him. It's basically. Look, How old are your boxes? No, like everybody gets holes in their boxes, and then you they? don't wear them again. Like you, they, you, that's how they. That's just a, don't look at me like that's weird. It's just a thing that happens. How filthy are your boxes? Look, I've got a lot filling them. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's horrible. Uh, no, I, I don't. actually do have one. 
I, oh my God, I had a sexual partner one time. I think I've said this, that wanted me to give them a wedgie. I don't know. I just told you this. Yeah. Probably. Oh God, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> God, I, <coughs> I didn't like those eyes before. And oh you, my God. They like rocked into the back of your head. That was so intense. Okay, so you wedged And I ripped their wedgies. I mean, I ripped their wedge. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I, ripped I the cooked them bread. wedgies. And it was um, horrible. Yeah, so even the king wears a hole in his briefs. Yeah. So wears, I think, has a hole in his briefs, you should have said. Because well, no one's wearing... Uh, okay, no one's, well, like, why are we picking away? Just cause because you don't understand what wearing what away... What do you mean? That, what, is that, what else are we supposed to do? Okay, even the, even the king gets a hole in his briefs. Yeah. Okay, even the king gets a hole in his briefs. <laughs> yeah. So, look, it, it basically puts everyone on the same level. Like, you may see him as this big prestigious figure, but at the end of the day, you were all the same. Even he, even he gets a hole in his briefs What about at some even point. your mum shagged about once? I don't think that's something that you like, really want to be saying on a day-to-day basis. No, no, of course not. But, like, everybody sees their mum as, like, the most... Ange- to everybody, your mum is, like, the most angelic person in the world. Mm. But... Like everybody's mom has like had sex because otherwise they wouldn't be your mom. I don't know. Oh, adoption. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna make a case for your mom never having sex. Then I was like, <laughs> where are you going with this? Uh, there's Actually... a reason my nickname's Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one's a good one. Don't mistake a vapist for a bakery. I need more context. Don't mistake a vapist yeah. for a bakery. So. When, have you ever walked past someone like a, you're like, ooh, it smells like donuts, and then you go around a corner, it's just some bloke who lives in Shoreditch smoking a vape. So don't. I've smelled like sweets. I've never been like, oh, that's baking okay. bread. Okay, well, the, the same thing. Right. The, the, like for a sweet shop. Yeah. Don't, don't mistake a vapist for a chocolate factory. I don't know. It doesn't really roll off the tongue as nice as a as a sweet shop, maybe. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I get what so you mean. don't smells can be deceiving. Yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket without knowing that, that it's not just about smells. Oh. It, it, it's uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket without knowing the full extent of what's actually going on. Don't uh, be like that is what this is. That's that, and then you get more information later, and you're like, oh. Well, I think it, if it was about smells, there was this boy in my class in school, bless him, who stank like bo really bad, yeah. and he was absolutely lovely. And everybody would always say, he's the loveliest that's boy, a, but he reeks. That's it just was such a shame. That's don't judge a book by its cover, though. Or don't judge a smell by its whiff. That's that's a different or, saying. don't think you're in a bakery because you're vaping or whatever you just said. No, that's not. It doesn't work with that, though. Don't vape in the bakery. Because that's what nothing about say? him actually being a nice person. That's that's just saying... That's no, but just, you're judging like, the smell no, based that's, on that's the... That's assuming the smell is something that it's not. So that's assuming something that it's not based on the mi- minimal evidence you've been given. Whereas yours is, you've smelt a smelly kid and you've gone, he's going to be a bit of a wanker. And he wasn't. Don't smoke in Greg's. That's what it should be. <laughs> That's just a sign on the wall. <laughs> That's not a saying. I'm changing That's it to don't smoke in Greg's. That's just a sign. <laughs> change, uh, saying changed. I've got two more. Oh gosh, I'm ready. You've denied the Pope his Pope mobile. I have. That's the that's the saying oh, is. Sorry, I got confused then. I, I lost like, what we were doing. Like so, you'd be like, mm, you've denied the Pope the Pope mobile is there. You, you've denied the Pope his Pope mobile there. So mate. like you've you've stopped someone doing what they're born to do. Yeah, that's theirs. That's what they were made to do. Like that is yeah. their thing. But like, I don't know, mate. That's you've you've overstepped the line. You've denied the Pope his Pope mobile. Don't slap the fire hose away from the fireman. Yeah, similar thing. Yeah. Like give the policeman back his handcuffs. Exactly. Like you've you've give the baker back his babe. <laughs> <laughs> right then, the final one. Final one, I'm ready. You're teaching a llama breaststroke. I'm teaching a llama breaststroke. Like it's similar to you barking up the wrong tree. It's like there's there's no right. there's no point doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, you're going round in circles here, mate. There's no way you're gonna be able to teach a llama to breaststroke, no matter how many times you try. It's just a way of being like, mate, stop what you're doing. You're teaching a llama breaststroke. What about it's all fun and games till the llama spits. Yeah, that's not similar, but a, a good saying. Yeah, because a llama's all cute, but it they spit at people. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, good. they're good. They're good. I Guys, think the the magic carpet one like. could actually catch the magic on. carpet could catch on. It definitely get it could. trending, guys. Yeah, There's nothing magic about the carpet until have... you see it fly. Right, we have another game, everybody. Another game. This one was from our good friend William Gibb. Mm -hmm. um, names, well, words that if they weren't words could be a good name. I have really good ones of this, and I'm going to come in strong. Okay, with the first one, ISIS. That, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I want to say awful but it, uh, yeah, would, it works really awful nicely because we know the context yeah but what a, like if, but if also it is already a name yeah but it's been taken over by the bad <laughs> true but like a person name is it not already a person i think name? it was and then it's been like overshadowed by the well in that case let's just throw adolf out there i mean you could do but it doesn't sound that nice isis sounds prettier Okay, no, it's quite a pretty name. Yeah, right, go on, you next. I've gone for Dairy Lee. Ooh, okay. I think I've met her before, actually. Mm. I probably went to nursery She's with her. She's definitely American. Oh, yeah. She's one of the autumn, autumnal Starbucks girlies. Yeah. Um, I think she's from Texas. Yes. Yes, or... And her sister's Brandy Lynn. Or from Leeds. Ooh. Mary Lee. Dirty, dirty Lee. <laughs> I meant to say Dairy Lee. <laughs> dirty Lee. He's dirty the bloke Lee. that lives down the road. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, that's good. That's good. Right, my next one. Cucumber. I have thought cucumber, mm. but then I went, no, that's stupid. No, it's it, it's only stupid because you're thinking of a cucumber. If someone was like, hi, my name's New Cucumber. Yeah, I'd go, that's a weird name. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, oh, I If they went, oh, my name's before. Dairy Lee or Isis, I'd go, hmm. I can see it. Like, that's quite a nice name. How funny. But I've then... just remembered this right now. Sorry. My little sister, when she was in primary school, had three best friends. One of them was called Ariana. Mm. The other was called Madonna. And the other was called Isis. I'm not even joking. And we had to get, when it was my 21st, sent a message into our family group chat, like, Martha's friends, Madonna, Ariana, and Isis are going to be coming. And I was like, whoa, this party's going to be sick. Like, whoa, Ariana Grande, Madonna, and Isis are coming. That's crazy. Yeah, a hell of a lineup, isn't it? Hell of a lineup. What? Um, um, but yeah, sorry. Just thought of that. Carry on. My next one, Crank. That's not a nice sounding name. I didn't crank. say a nice sounding name. It's just, it sounds like no, it is a name. No, but the idea is crank. that it has to be a nice, would be a nice sounding name. No, the idea is that it would be, if any it wasn't a word, word it would be, be a, it could be a name. Any word could be a name. But crank sounds like it is like, oh, my mate, crank. I could just be like blob. Nah, uh, yeah, a blob kind of would work Crank though. is like a nickname. Nobody's no. first name would ever be crank. It works along the lines of Hank. But isn't Hank a nickname? Hank is a, well. For Hackney. <laughs> For Hackney, what Hank is it? What is it short for? I think it's Hank like is definitely a nickname. No, it is. It's short for something, but it, it crank works. Crank does not work. Guys, there's no way that you are arguing. Below, crank doesn't work. Sorry, there is no way that you're arguing. Cucumber mm. works better than crank. Right. Like my mate Cucumber Smith. Like no, Crank right, Smith. Crank Smith sounds like a name. Crank Smith. Cucumber spaghetti bolognese sounds like a name. If you no, it does. That yes, sounds like does. a really weird order. <laughs> Guys, Crank Smith. Or cucumber spaghetti bolognese. What the fuck are you talking Comment about? down below. It's out of those two, okay? Crank Smith, cucumber spaghetti bolognese. That's just not a name, though. It doesn't sound anything like of a name. Of course it's, it's not a name, but it could be cucumber, the double barrel last name, spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti pick, bolognese sounds pretty to good. Ar to argue your point better, pick a pick a double barrel name that actually is a double barrel name spaghetti bolognese could be a double barrel it name could, i don't it, oh my god spaghetti bolognese is such it's actually quite a really cool last name you think somebody would rock up and go oh hi my name's max spaghetti bolognese yeah and you'd go that sounds that so real you're lost are you joking yes max no spaghetti i'm not bolognese. <laughs> Is a well good name. No. That is spaghetti bolognese is actually first name spaghetti, last name bolognese. I'm saying it. first name spaghetti is quite a nice name. Spaghetti. I can get behind spaghetti being a good name. Spaghetti bolognese would that be a just great a, I, name. I love that. I actually might name my child spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese by like day. <sighs> this is great. Right, My next you one. Next. Futon. That doesn't sound like a nice name, though. It sounds like a name. 
But anything can be a name. Oh, no, I can't the, though. I Not the everything. Aim of it was oh, the elevator. That could so be a name. No. There's people called Eleanor. All right. Elevator. Well, what is wrong there's, with that? There's people with Benjamin. So elevator could be a name. What, the, what point the, are you making it? The literal it? aim of this game was to make a nice sounding name. Uh, I remember saying words that if they weren't words would be a good name. A good name. Not nice sounding name. A good name. What Just else a, is a good name? What's Tim? What, that's a what good would you name. Say, what would you say a bad name is then? I don't know. How would you describe a bad name? By its sounds, probably. Well, bad yeah. name, I reckon. Uh, I don't know spaghetti bolognese. How is? I, uh, you're just proving my point even further. You think it d doesn't sound like a good name? Sounds exactly. Like Does it sound like a good name? Wrong, yeah. What are you saying here? Because no, you're saying that I can't remember. What are you talking about? Right. Actually, you are not in a state to be able anyway, to argue. Here. My next one: telephone. Um. You better fucking say yeah. I don't know. I think telephone. Telly, I reckon, works. But telly's like basically already a name, like Tilly, Telly. Telly. Telephone. Telephone is a nice name. Telephone. Telephone. I'm not, I can't see it personally. Right. This is... The, people are picking on me now. Our producer just chimed in and went, yeah. No, no, I, uh, the other ones, I think, <laughs> like, if you stick a normal surname behind them, Dairy Lee, I don't know. Dunker. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy Lee, what's, what's, a, what's a good surname for that one? Dairy Lee Jackson. That sounds like a name. <laughs> Like, oh, me and my mate, my mate Derry Lee Jackson's coming over. You go, yeah, that sounds like a person. Yeah. Spaghetti Bolognese Alexander. No, just doesn't work. That sounds like a really If you put cool something person. Italian sounding behind it, I could maybe get behind a bit. Spaghetti Bolognese Alexander. Spaghetti Bolognese Tagliatelle. Right, yeah, you're now just listing food. <laughs> crank, if With you put Black Crank Pepper. Smith, Crank Smith sounds like a name. <laughs> Futon. Futon, um, I'm even going to throw in... Uh, another word that's not a name, futon boulangerie. My my French mate's coming over. That's that works. Bonjour, je m'appelle futon, futon boulangerie. boulangerie. Yeah, sounds good, right? Spaghetti bolognese tiramisu. No, <laughs> no it just doesn't flow like a name should. Spaghetti bolognese Smith. What's your next one? My next one, piano. I can get behind piano. Oh, I bet you fucking can. Shut what does up. that even mean? I'm just. I mean, shut I'm up. agreeing that's with what you. It means. That's what it means. My next one's. Clammy. Are you taking the piss? Clammy, Clammy works. Why? Are, or why is it that every single one of yours works and mine just don't? Spaghetti is such a nicer name than Clammy. Only because you've got connotations with Clammy. Why do I have connotations with Clammy? Because you're Clammy. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Clammy. What's a good name? What's a good surname for Clammy? Clammy Bolognese. Clammy Valentine. Such a good name. That sounds like a porn star. <laughs> Sounds like every person you meet on your first day of Sims. <laughs> uh, Clammy Valentine's coming over. That's a good name. I'm so sick of this. Right. Anyway, my next one, marzipan. Yeah, I can get by marzipan. Right. I bet you can, you fat fuck. Why are you even angry at me when I'm agreeing because, with you? Oh, shut up. Spaghetti is object. Spaghetti bolognese, I will not. What was What did it say? Was it? What was that <laughs> spaghetti bolognese or Clark whatever cl clunk whatever Crank Smith like. Crank Smith or spaghetti bolognese please which sounds like a name I can't wait to win this you're gonna win it because you're you've been so hell bent on winning it and I spaghetti don't give a bolognese shit so the comments are just gonna go oh yeah but no definitely spaghetti bolognese spaghetti bolognese is such a better name than Crank Smith would you rather be named spaghetti bolognese or Crank Smith it sounds like a name though so does spaghetti bolognese if you say Doesn't. enough doesn't. If you say it enough. What's your next one? Uh, vagina. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if I can... You can't argue with that. Vagina. Vagina what? Hole. I mean, I, I'd get behind clitoris being a name. Oh, okay. Vulva. Yeah, vulva works. So you 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 stopped at vagina, v which is he's got a tendency yeah, to do that. I do. But I think if you went if you went deeper and went for, oh, I, I mean, oh, I mean, let's let's not talk about anatomy here. I don't know where any of it is. Um, but if you just explored it, and went clitoris or vulva. I think they both work nicely. Labia can work. I think a lot of an anatomy based the actual like names of them can actually work quite well. Funny bone. I don't think that's the anatomy, the mm. like the anatomical name for it. But Frangia. That's again not a thing. Did you just see a fridge and think 
No. <laughs> Pangea. Um, Isn't that what the world used to be? Yeah. Um, I would say almost name. Hmm. Do you want my next one? Yeah. Bingo. No. Old man called Bingo. Bingo was his name. Oh, it's already a name. Grow up. Bingo Johnson. Bingo. Wow. Bingo Fandango. Hello, my name's Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo Vagina Fandango. Imagine you go to an old people's home and you go, you're doing D of E volunteering <laughs> and you're like, oh. like, hi, my name's Crank and this is my mate Bingo. You, you'd go, I'd go, believe it. I'd go, hi, I'm Spaghetti Bolognese. And then the old woman would go, I love him spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> and you'd go, no, you're not. That is not your name. <laughs> My next one, Mercury. Sort of cheating because Freddie Mercury, but Mercury sounds like a good name, mm. I reckon. Venus. Yeah, I mean, it is a name, Williams. Pluto. Pluto is a name, Disney. Um, Mars. Uh, Rover. <laughs> Mars. Middle name, Ipan. On, and then on the same, same these are all uh, chemical elements mercury works I reckon neon neon yeah yeah I like neon yeah, as a name that can work nickel yeah back nickel back already exists yeah. look at this photograph <laughs> <laughs> silicon mm. yeah have you done with yours yeah I, I only thought five or six yeah, yeah, I've finished. Well, three. Two of them are spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> That's not even written down. I thought of that on the spot. I thought of that genius on the spot. Um, yeah, have any more? No, those, those are mine. I feel like that's good. I feel like they're good names. I think Comment down below, though, guys. Spaghetti bolognese <sighs> for the win. It's Come the, on, gang. It's because you've asked them spaghetti to comment Spaghetti bolognese, gang. That that is Let's why rise up. Rise up, spaghetti bolognese, gang. Okay. Rise up. It's just because people like spaghetti bolognese. They go, I yeah, love. I'd like to go on oh my spaghetti bolognese. Honestly, I think spaghetti bolognese might be one of my absolute favourite meals of all time. Parmesan. Oh, cheddar. Ooh. Cheddar. So good. Um, right. Our next game is we're going to say a famous person's name. And then we both have to say the first word that pops into our head in association with them. Yeah. Right. I will go first. Are you ready? Yeah. Tom Holland. Three, Bloody two, hell. one. Spider Man. Well, yeah. <gasps> but whoa. That was an obvious one. We're though. so like insane. That, that was that was an obvious one. Right. Okay. You go. Um. Who should we go for? Let's go for. Um, Kate Middleton. Three, two, two one. Princess. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I literally, she had a royal wedding and fell off. In my opinion. <laughs> 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 like, what she even done? I have one. Yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, one. KSI. Three. Two, <laughs> Why one. did you count down the name of the know. person? I don't know. I got it mixed up. What was up. that all about? I don't. Know. I'm not very well. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Forehead. Crime. I saw his forehead recently for the first time. Right. When? Uh, what, in like in his person? boxing thing. Oh. I'd never seen his forehead. It's always been covered up. Yeah. Is that like, um? is he like embarrassed by his forehead? Um, I think he just looks better with a... Yeah, because I'd never seen it. Finger. And it, I don't know why it, it took me back. Like, oh. And I think if it, he'd shown it off from the beginning, I wouldn't be taken aback by it. But I saw it yeah. and I was like, oh... His forehead's there. Like it freaked. I'd never seen like him without in your a parents bed. naked or something. Yeah, I'd never seen him without like a hat on or a bandana. Yeah. And then I saw it and it was like, whoa. And it's not even that. I mean, it is big. No, he had. His, not like... He didn't have a bandana on for the talent show. For the what? When I went to the talent. Oh, the talent oh, show. Did he not? Yeah. oh, he had his forehead out then. He was front and center, full head and his life away. As he should. As he should. Right, mm. next person. Go on. Um. Okay. Let's go. Also, did you watch the fight? Did you watch the Tommy Fury KSI fight? I did, yeah. Did you think that Tommy Fury deserved to win? I thought... I'll tee this off with, as I think 90% of people have, I don't know much about boxing. <laughs> and then they go, but KSI should have won. Mm. Um, look, I mean, it wasn't a great display. I think if... 
I think a draw would have been fair. That's so shit, though. Like, Imagine I think doing all that and then it's a draw. I mean, it's happened many times before. Really? In boxing, how do you even draw? You get the same points. How, how do you even get points? What do you get points for? It's the amount of punches that connect and like miss and stuff. It's like a it, Seriously? The judges. That's why it's that's why there's numerous judges because it's all like subjective. It's not like a. I thought it was who knocks the other one out. Well, yeah. If you get knocked out, then. Do they not just go until someone gets knocked out? No. What? Did anyone get knocked out in that fight? I didn't watch it. How the hell could it have been like a who do you think won then if I was if asking it, you I don't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> who do you think won the bloke that got knocked out or the one that didn't but yeah I, I just assumed that someone would have got knocked out or like at least half knocked out no one I assume really KSI gets... got like wobbled to the floor or something no, no one ever really gets knocked out that's so boring so they just hit each other and nothing happens no what happens is they say for months beforehand I'm gonna that they're murder going to, you and your mum I'm gonna knock you out in the first round yeah like really really quickly mate yeah and then and they're then just nothing happens. usually just hug for a few rounds that's, and then that's boring and then say that, that was their game plan or something I that's proper boring what I mean, no, yeah. no, good I for mean, them. It was... I mean, neither of the two main fights were very they were entertaining. <laughs> no, they, were, they, weren't, they weren't great. Packet of crisps and up to bed. Yeah. That's one of my favourite sayings. Packet of crisps and up to bed. Um, let's go for Arthur TV. Wait. Three, Three two, two, one, one giggle. Autism. Oh. Oh, I was going to say that, but I didn't... <laughs> I was going to say that, but then I was like, I don't want to say that. So I said giggle, because he does a little giggle, doesn't he? Most people <laughs> giggle. I know, but his is like more recognisable, I feel. Okay. <laughs> You're next. Kim Kardashian. Okay. Three, two, one, booty. I oh, thought, I well, thought you thing. would say booty. That's why I said it. Same thing. And I was actually playing to you there. I would have said businesswoman. That's two words, so you'd have been wrong. Um, let's go for... Um, Jessica Ennis Hill. What the fuck made you think of Jessica Ennis? Jessica Ennis Hill. All right. Three, two, one, Olympics. I didn't even say anything. What the fuck? What the hell? I would have said, like, athletics. Like. <laughs> Whoa, what a banger, George. <laughs> Let, let's do one that we're going to be... So, uh, there's, there's an obvious one for this one. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Andy Murray. Andy Murray. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Boring. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Both just tried to avoid yeah. saying tennis. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, Molly May. Okay. Three, two, one. Tommy. PLT. Oh. oh, okay. Fair enough. Also, that was three words. Oh, very true. Very true. Um, um, Harry Styles. Okay. Three, two, one. Wig. Word. Oh. Oh. Do you know there's like... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, apparently Harry Styles wears wigs. Do you wear wigs? <laughs> <laughs> and um, lots of people believe that his hairline has fully receded and he now wears a really good high quality wig because there's some people oh. do you know Nicole Kidman do you know what she looks like so how many wigs do you reckon he's got is he good do you reckon he's got a lot of hairy styles oh god that doesn't deserve a round of applause it doesn't he needs to be boo boo thanks guys boo so many big famous people wear wigs all the time though and you would never know because they're such high quality right like in movies people wear wigs all the time do you wear wigs? No. Do you I, wear I, wigs? I wore a wig last episode. You did. I didn't want to take it off. George, we go to this party after the last episode. Mm. Um, there was a queue to get in. The woman comes, sees Andrew um, at the same time. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, so unnecessary. No, this woman walks over to Andrew. I'm stood right next to him. And she goes, hi, like, um, we, we can get you into the front. Um, is Max here? And I go, yeah, I'm right here. She goes, fuck off. <laughs> nobody. All night. It was actually really interesting because nobody knew me, who I was at all. Yeah. So going up to the people that I know and seeing them not recognize me and how they treated me was really interesting. Yeah. I got someone that like I'm, I'm like acquaintances with friends with and I'd be like, hi. 
and they'd be like, hi, who are you? And I was like, it's Max Belegde. And they were like, fuck off. <laughs> but it's interesting to see them be a little bit like snooty-ish, like when they, they thought that I was like a fan coming over or yeah. something. Um, but it was brilliant. Yeah, nobody knew that it was me at all. All <laughs> night, everywhere I went, people were like, I, I remember they'd hear me speak and be so confused. And some people recognized my voice and yeah. then were like, what? But I just didn't look like myself. <laughs> yeah. I know that voice really. <laughs> I was speaking to um, Flo mm. and um, Bambino Becky. Mm. No idea who I was <laughs> at all. And then they both realized and then you at went, the same time. I'm Max Belegde. And they yeah. went, they went yeah. what? what's that? <laughs> Who's Max I've heard of spaghetti bolognese, but I've never heard of. Um, um, but yeah, Derry Lee times. Johnson. Did you say? Mm. Don't want to put Derry Lee on you, Johnson. Right? Can you think of any other person? Uh, what in the world? Yeah. yeah all right then. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to think. If you think of sports stars, you just say they're sports. That's mm. boring. Um, also, I don't know many sports stars. What about? Jeremy Clarkson. Jeremy Clarkson. Right. Three, two, one. Car. Cars. Boy, this game's shit. Could have been farm. Could have nah. been. been Politics. Ready <laughs> faced man. Okay. Uh, Logan Paul. Right. Three, two, one. Suicide. Prime. What? I thought of the thingy, the suicide. I well, right, right, said as it. Soon as soon because we were we were working so quick, it just came out of my mouth, and then I thought, oh god, I don't really want to be saying that. God, but I did just say that. Okay. Yeah. Um. What did you say? Prime. That would have been a lot more nice, really, wouldn't it? Yeah. David Dobrik. Okay. Three, two, one. E. Polish. Oh. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He just gives. I feel like he's a deep. He's got a deep sadness within him. Oh. I feel like. Do you know when you meet people and they just their entire lives are for like YouTube or like for content and they don't actually do anything? Yeah, me. That's so me. Um, I feel like he just like doesn't. I mean, maybe not so much now because I don't think he does as much. But when he was like in his vlog days, I'll be completely honest with you. I've never watched a David Dobrik vlog. Oh my god, they used to, they were so good, like mm. unbelievably good. I would watch it every week. But now I've seen them all like do interviews like a year later, like Jeff Widick is he called Wittick? Jeff Wittick. Jeff with Dick. Yeah. Jeff Wittick, Tana Mojo, Trisha Paytas all talk about it. It's such a weird like work <clears throat> environment that he got them into. Yeah. And it just seems so unhealthy and I'm just like, that is an odd, like weird, like evil mastermind thing to do. Like very weird. I don't weird. know anything about it. Oh, I know lots about it. So get to know. How do I know more about a, like a male YouTube drama than you do? Loser. Ew. Mm. I loved the vlog squad days. I was deep in it. Deep. Nice. I used to watch them all. Great times. Hmm. Right. Any dictators? Um, Any dick takers? I've just got a dilemma. All right, send it to print, please. The winner takes it all. I love that Lion King song. The loser has to fall. Shall I sing and see if it gets copyright stricken because I'm so good? Um, I no, don't want to Not talk. because I'm scared of it copyrighted, I'm just... Oh scared right okay i'm going to attempt to read it but my brain is really working at about 10 percent capacity right, give and the it's first usually couple lines ago and then you can hand it over if you want hi jackson morge i buckle in in this mental help no <laughs> i've given up <laughs> i've literally given up hi max and george buckle in this mental and i need help uh, that to be fair, that was that yes, sentence is wrong. Yeah, I thought that I did it. So my friend, so my friend is moving house, which is her child at home. So emotional mm. times. While she was in the attic packing stuff away, she found a box full of documents, mm. and within she found two birth certificates that didn't have her or her brother's name on. But her dad was the father on both certificates. They were twins. She didn't say on say anything to her parents, but called me. So oh, she didn't put the end of the bracket. So that okay, in bracket they were twins. Mm -hmm. She didn't say anything to her parents, but called me, so I race over to hers and we go full Sherlock to find her potential stepbrothers. Good film. 
We end up finding him on Facebook and she bursts into hysterics and insists one of the boys is the same lad she drunkenly shagged at Boomtown last year. Mm. WTF, I believe that means. What the frig? Mm. She's obviously not spoken to the boy since, but if she tells her parents, they might end up meeting again. Would they have to pretend it's not happened or admit because they obviously didn't know? But she's mega raging. Mega, mega fuming! At her dad for not telling her he had other children. Boys, how do I console and help her? She's traumatized. She's shagged her step, bro. I've seen many videos like this. Um, I've never seen how they end. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know the mega, mega fuming woman is from Darwin? Is she? I went on... All checks out. Yeah, it does. Um... Right, so she shagged her stepbrother. What is the problem? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've done that so many times. But what would you do um, <laughs> if you found out that there was just birth certificates in your attic belonging to your Father. siblings that you'd never met? I would. Wait, if it's a birth certificate, then that means it's a half-brother or sister. That doesn't mean they're a stepsister or a brother. So you've shagged at a blood relative. Hmm. Mm, that's that's bad. Yeah, you, they've got the terminology yeah, they, wrong. Yeah, there. no, that means that they're thick as fuck. First of all, mm. second of all, inbred, illegal, going to jail. Third of all, if you got pregnant, do you go to jail for being inbred? I don't it's think you do. against the law. It's I don't think you go to jail. I don't know if it's an arrestable offence, but it's definitely against no. the law because it's cruel on the children because they get often get born with like defectum defectumus. Oh, I can't speak. Oh. Defect. What am I trying to say? Defecation. Is the word defect or is that like a... Defect, yeah. Is that not a rude thing to say though about a human? Like born with like issues. Defects, yeah. Defects, like okay. A birth then. defect. Yes, them. You were about to say defecation. I don't know why I was they saying They were born that. with shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, I think... That's not if common. I found out I had had sex with a, a, a blood sibling... I would be very alarmed. For hot take. Um, <laughs> I too wouldn't like to have slept with a sibling. Can someone uh, edit that so that it says out, that out, In would. terms of advice, I'd say... I'd say confront the parents. Just so, just say, what's, what's good? What's good, Dad? What's good, Mum? Yeah, why are you keeping sisters from I found me? these birth certificates. I, I don't think their immediate reaction would go would be... Yeah, let's go see him. Like, I think... And then... I'd, I'd go downstairs and I'd go, oh, I pulled this worldie last night. It's so weird. They look exactly like me. And they have... And then you just whip the mirror out. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they'd go, oh, what were the name? And I'd go, oh, Spaghetti Bolognese. Balegde. And they'd go, no, their real name. And I'd say, Spaghetti Balegde. And then they'd go, shit. You just shagged your brother. And I'd say, tell me something I don't know. Everyone's my brother. We're all brothers in Christ. Uh, yeah. What are you talking about? George, I've had three hours sleep. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, right. I think I've got another email George come through. George's got another email come through. Thank God. Thank God for that. We are all brothers in Christ. Instead of saved by the bell, saved from the bell. Ah. Oh, I can read this one. All right. All right, go on then. Hey, Max and George. Oh, God. Sorry, I thought I was going to burp. <laughs> hey, Max and George. Some advice on how to be more confident would be great and not to care about what other people think. This is something I've struggled with for years and wanted to know how you two do it. You both seem like you live fun and free lives and I want to know how to do the same. Thanks. Love the podcast so much. Max is really fit and famous. First of all, great judge of character because that last sentence is true. <laughs> Second of all, any tips? Um, we are, you've said this before, Max, and I've said no. You're in a you're in a relationship, I, and I don't swing that way. I think when before I was in this industry, I used to look at people and be like who were in it and be like oh my god they're the most confident like successful mm-hmm. people in the world then once i got into it i realized that like so many people are not and everybody's nervous everybody's scared everybody yeah. gets anxious i mean you do videos where you just like 
be a bell end in public sometimes but mm. like it's so because kind. like most people are just speaking to a camera like you yeah, can't be embarrassed really forget. speaking yeah. to a camera but also um i think the way to i mean number one not everyone online is completely confident in mm. fact i'd say most people aren't yeah. but number two um sorry i was going to go to the shit i'm number two um <laughs> you like i'd say the way to get around it the way i've I've, and even it doesn't even work but uh, as, <laughs> as in as in like <laughs> what a great way to practice no, as the in, as, you're about to give as in it's not like it doesn't fully work because everybody <laughs> everybody's always got a little bit of I can't wait like, to hear what you're about to say just think <laughs> the only person you're the main character in the only person's live you're the main character in is your own yeah so when you go home you don't think about the bloke you saw trip up mm. on the way to work this what morning they're thinking about but they're constantly thinking about oh people will be thinking like mm. like you could in london i'm a firm believer you could walk around in wearing whatever the fuck you want and give it 10 minutes but somebody would have completely forgotten oh what, in london like, i don't give a literal fuck i will walk around filming myself talking singing i sometimes if my i've i lost my airpods i don't mm. know where they are at all walked to the shop last night from my hotel i sang on my way because i was like i didn't want to feel like i was alone <laughs> That's weird. So I sang but, Katy Perry out loud. But even if you walked past <laughs> some weirdo wearing Crocs, dre- dressed like a highlighter, Hi. and they were singing, <laughs> you you'd walk past them, and go, a bit weird, and then just carry on, go, carry on walking. Like yeah. ev- everybody is in the same mindset as you are. Nobody cares about as much about you as you. Yeah, everyone's in the same mindset as they're worrying about what they look like, mm. and they've also got all their own problems. Mm. So seeing you walk past doesn't then get added onto their list. Yeah. They just, if anything, just briefly go, weird. Yeah. And then that's the only thought they have and again. And the only way in life that you can get through a difficult thing is by getting through it. And the only, <laughs> I, I meant to say that a lot more inspirationally. The only way that you can grow as a person is going through difficult things that test you. Like yeah. I was, in, when I was in like primary school, high school, I was deathly afraid of public speaking. Then when I got to like sixth form, I had to do public speaking for this thing. Mm. And now I do public speaking all the time and it doesn't yeah. bother me at all. But I never would have got to do that unless... I did it that first time and then built the confidence over even if your insecurity is like getting on the bus. I remember like at high school, the idea of walking in front of like loads of people that you go to school, like past them to get to a seat would be hell on earth. Whereas now I get on buses and don't give a shit. Actually, I don't get on buses. Ew. No, I'm joking. But like, I, I, I wouldn't give a shit. Do you know what I mean? I think I was similar in terms of, I was for, for a year and a half, two years built up a following just by being sat in my room on my phone and then when I started doing like more YouTube stuff and get invited to but places where there was a crew and there was other people there that you had to just like do your thing in front, in front of, of then then I was like oh this is like a little bit awkward but mm. then like the other day for example um did this it'll be out by now I'd imagine um did Simon's game show mm. and I was like I was literally just like not worried at all. Like I just know the people on the camera now. I know these guys. Yeah. Like, it's just a. You just get you used just to get it. Used, yeah, you just get used to. I it. literally got, went to this shoot two days ago in the morning. Was told that it was going to be something completely different to what it was. Was in a full set with a production crew. I was wearing like a hat. I was wearing one of our useless caps available now. Um, like I was not dressed nicely at all. I looked yeah. like I had my suitcase with me, my Simba Teddy. Yeah. Um, and there was like a full production crew with like lighting multiple cameras microphones and i was supposed to be acting about this specific product and the science behind it being like a teacher i had no idea and there was about 15 people in the room just staring at me and in the past that would have been mental breakdown status but instead i was just like right went to the bathroom looked at myself in the mirror and i was like you can do this you don't really know what's about to happen and you have no idea what you're doing here but you can do it and it went well and Mm. i just like powered through it but it's all about believing in yourself but you only build that belief up by going through difficult things yeah like if two years ago when you first started your youtube like thing and you'd made like two videos you then went to go to a set to film something you would have been shitting yourself yeah. and i'm sure the first time that you did go to one of those you were panicking lots I mean, like remember, it's normal yeah like just get first time in one of those like coves which is like the white out rooms mm. just be like right uh, it's now yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I have to perform. Yeah, this is it, now or never. And it's the same for like, oh, you have to do a public speaking thing or it's the same like doing a test, like doing like a driving test or something like that or even just like walking outside of your house. Like you only build the confidence by actually doing it. So take that first step, no matter how big or small Mm. and keep on going, baby. You got it. One day you too could be working at the useless hotline. I think that's a beautiful place to leave it, George, because I have about three strands of brainwave power left. Even that Oops, sentence was like making using no them all sense. Up. Yep. Um, if you did enjoy and you are watching, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you're notified bing, every bing. time that we upload. Thank you for that noise. Um, <laughs> and if you are listening, make sure to give us a follow, uh, mm-hmm. like us, download our episode so you can uh, listen on the go. And Max, how should they send in their dilemmas? Send are you aware of how this is possible? Send Still, in your now. dilemmas to our Instagram. In fact, our Instagram for whatever we need to fix that. I don't know what's happening with it. People cannot send voice notes on Instagram. Don't know why. I've looked at all the settings. We're not doing anything different. It says that that's what happens to private accounts. Our account is not private anyway. Send them into the email. But to, uh, try send them. If you've got a voice thing. note that you want to send in, try and send it to the Instagram. Yeah. At the useless hotline pod. Yes. If it doesn't work, do it to our email, the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com and put your written ones there as well. I've been going through the written ones lately as well. And guys, some of them are literally like four pages long. I love you to death. We're not going to read that out. <laughs> um, I physically can't. You've all heard me read. It doesn't work. So um, please keep it snappy. Keep it to the point, And it probably will be included in the episode. Love you lots. And also, don't forget to comment down below. Clark, cl- clunk, whatever, clunk, clunk, clunk Smith. Cranks. Crank Smith yeah. or spaghetti bolognese. Comment down below, baby. It is going to be spaghetti bolognese. It is, it would better fucking have be. Driven it home so no, much. I deserve it. Right. And until next time, stay cheesy. Parmesan cheesy. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed after this. I'm going to bed. You're such a weird person. <laughs>